Mm, blurbs. Greetings. It's been a crazy long time since doing just one of these style of videos for me, but life has been crazy in general lately. And whatever, here we are. This is a Coke machine, or rather it is the packaging not to be forked with. And this is a, one of those things from New Wave Toys. I absolutely love their products. I've bought practically every single one of their one-sixth scale arcade machines. Uh, and this is the first vending machine, as far as I know, the first vending machine that they've done. And it's also a functional mini fridge. So one-sixth scale Coke machine, which is just neat. You know, it goes in line with all of their other things. They're doing these like uh, arcade uh, machines, of course, for the longest time, but and now more and more just general amusement center type stuff. Like for instance, there was that USB wood grain uh, change machine. I've shown that before. Also a Zoltar machine, which I don't really have much interest in that one. I don't really have any nostalgia for it, but Coke machines or, you know, vending machines, that makes sense to me to add to my sort of miniature arcade setup. So it uh, looks like it's on sale right now for about 136, which that's about what I paid for it like probably two years ago. So I don't know if that's really a sale price or whatever, but anyway, looks like they do still have it available. It also came in a new Coke, like the, the 80s new Coke style. I don't think that's the one I got. I actually don't remember. Cause yeah, I've had this so long. It was just set aside for me to cover on blurbs at some point and I kind of forgot about it and it got underneath a bunch of things. And then as I was uh, cleaning out my house after the hurricane, <laughs> I found this again. I'm like, oh yeah, let's just go ahead and finally do a video about this. Very Coke forward packaging, as you'd expect. It is a licensed, whatever kind of product thing. You know, I'm not like a Coke fan, but at the same time, it is one of those just iconic styles of vending machines, at least here in the US. You always saw this like exact style of Coke machine in, well, everywhere. And you still kind of do. It's been supplanted more or less by the newer styles of them, but you know, th this fits in very well with all of the 80s and 90s miniature arcade machines I have from these folks. Plus the fact that it was a mini fridge seems fascinating to me. Uh, the fact that there's, there's functionality there is just neat. Even though uh, I'm sure it's one of the crappy style of fridges that barely does anything in terms of cooling stuff down, but it's okay. I don't remember if there's anything else in here. I did open it when I first got it, but I didn't actually test it or do anything else. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> the, uh, the details. Just wonderful. As new wave toys things always are. Okay. So yeah, got your little dollar bills could go in there. Uh, that can be pressed. <laughs> All right, so. So this actually does have an actual power thing as opposed to all of the others from them, which are USB. So some kind of a 12 volt deal going on there. Where is the cable? I'm sure I have a cable, right? Maybe it's in there still. And uh, off on and VD in. Looks great. Nice high quality print. It's a decal actually. Yeah, I would like to uh, put different labels here for like all the different drinks, like the different Coke products or whatever. But uh, I don't know how easy that would be to swap out, or, like if it even comes with them. Typically they come with some decals and other things like that. So yeah, there is our fridge. Actually, is this a... Ah, yes, it is. Look at this. So this is a little thing for our money to go into. <laughs> it goes in right there. Uh, I seem to remember that. They've been adding more details like that, like um, little, little coin um, trays and, and drawers and, and little, little little things inside of all the arcade machines too. They've gotten so much more detail over the years. So this is our power supply, I guess. Yeah, 12 volt deal. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. Oh, that's got some heft to it. The little Coke cans, that's... That's like, a, yeah, that's honestly pretty heavy considering the size. Wow. That's so neat. <laughs> okay, I'm getting excited now. So yeah, there's our 
Interesting looking power supply, 12 volt, four amps. Gotta be our tray. So yeah, I think this takes two uh, cans of whatever, sort of normal can size, or like one of the smaller glass bottles. What is this? I got some tweezers, those are substantial. <laughs> I think these are our, yeah, this is gonna be our money. Teeny little dollars. There we go. Our little one sixth scale dollar bills. <laughs> so yeah, and we have got little one six scale quarters as well, or I guess the tokens. I just love the little Coke cans. <laughs> the fact that they are actually substantial. Cause see, I've, I've bought some other props one six scale from like Etsy and whatnot, uh, which show you those, but fortunately those are lost in the hurricane. But yeah, they, they did not have weight to them like this. They were little things and the same size and everything. Yeah, same scale, I mean. But these, these feel like solid metal as opposed to the other ones, which were like, I guess, hollow or something. I don't know. Way less substantial. The other ones, they would always just fall off of the, the machines that I had them set onto because, again, they were just so lightweight that like a, a light breeze or if you stepped too hard in the same room would make them fall off. Okay, so this is a guide rail, a can guide rail. Or so on is cooling and vending. And then V and D is just vending and LEDs, the cooling and the fans are turned off. All right. And yeah, so it is definitely one of those thermoelectric fridges <laughs> Alec would not approve. So why do I need the tweezers? He's included tweezers to grasp and guide many cans down one by one down here. All right. Yeah, those are solid. Have about the same mass as like, like a 22 caliber round. Yeah, it's a neat little thing. Look at that. <laughs> I did a good job with those. So, looks like we're just supposed to take them and, and do this. Doesn't really stay shut, does it? It's supposed to? I guess it is lightly magnetic. And so yeah, the dollars, eh, just little, little prop pieces, which is fine. Not functional, but I suppose the little coins actually are, which is intriguing. this powered on and see how it works. That's a very short cable. I have to unplug something. Nice. Well, there's our rather loud, awful mini fridge sound. And we do have some lights. If only that worked. <laughs> All right, let's try the coins. Oh, nice. So that accepted them, and I guess we'll have our, our selection. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's just the cutest. <laughs> Come on now. There we go. Mmm, how refreshing. <laughs> oh, what a cool little gimmick. Oh, dang, things are so small. There we go. Oh, that's neat. So I think it said you could also press this. Oh yeah, a couple times. <laughs> I love this. This is wonderful. Oh, I just 
I, I, I really appreciate little details like that, you know? Uh, makes it much more enjoyable as a prop if it does something. Yeah, I love having, or you know, just, just collecting little bits of uh, like dollhouse furniture and stuff like that over the years, because I like miniatures. And if it's a realistic looking miniature, then I find it hard to resist sometimes. But if it's like, if it does something, you know, especially slightly intricate like this, like taking little teeny tiny quarters and giving you little teeny tiny cans. That's just wonderful. Oh my goodness, they're so small though. It really would be so much extra cool if this did something, you know, even activating the little, little selectors down here. But no, it's just a light. Still though, the fact that it came with the little tiny dollars is neat. All right, so this is one of those things where it really just kind of gets cold-ish and then you'll it'll, it'll slowly get the, uh, the cans or whatever you put in here a little bit lower than room temperature. <laughs> uh, there's so many variables with these. They're, they're not great, but you know, they will, they will, oh, okay, whoops. And there's a th thing that you don't want to do. Putting the can in like that. Messed that up. <laughs> wow! Good job! Is it? Do I really need these? Alright, so at this point, I just want to try out the, the cooling functionality of this because as cool as that is, even cooler would be a cool drink. And I have the perfect beverage to try out in our Coke machine. So we'll put that in here. I'll put a couple in here, why not? And I let that go for a bit. And um, yeah, it's, it's starting to get a little bit cold-ish. As cold as these can get anyway. And uh, that's that, we'll check back in an amount of time. The one thing I'm not sure of is, the, does the front of it light up? Because the real ones, this whole front is illuminated. Hey, Flurbner, turn off everything. Hey, it is. Good. I was hoping so. It definitely, definitely glows. That's so neat. I wish I had all of my arcade machines, the little miniatures from New Wave, out alongside this just for the full effect, you know. But unfortunately, those were uh, buried by hurricane debris. Uh, they're all okay. They survived, but they did get a little bit nasty and... They're just in storage and I haven't cleaned them all up yet. Anyway, this thing is just... <laughs> oh, what a cool little toy that also happens to get cool. All right, it's been cooling off for a couple hours here, so let's see. Oh yeah, definitely cooler in here than it was. Not bad. Not exactly refrigerated, but <laughs> as good as these get. But, uh, you know, these uh, type of things that get down to like, what, 45, 40 degrees maybe. Depends on the room, this is like 72 in here right now. But yeah, it's cooler than it was. And it is now a uh, slightly more refrigerated, if not fully refrigerated, beverage. Mmm, it tastes like product. Whatever, the refrigeration isn't really why I got this. It's definitely a cool extra, but it's, it's all the little gimmicky other things. The look and the, 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 the little tiny details, right? The fact that you can do this. <laughs> That's just neat. Ooh, actually, and this is cooled off as well. I guess that's a side effect of these little prop cans being stored inside the fridge part. Yeah, those are cool to the touch. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, I, I think it's great. Despite the overly, you know, corporate Coca-Cola branding nature going on, it adds some authenticity and, um, yeah, I think it's gonna look great in my little arcade setup whenever I finally get it set up again after rebuilding my house. So, um, yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching.